From all the flags waving on the streets, we'd never have known the Nazis were about to lose the war. But bullies are always loudest when they're scared. And when they're desperate, they get stupid. Commander Hermann Freisinger had killed Novak. And he'd given us a free ride, right into the lion's den. I've read the field report twice. This Allied team is fascinating. They have been captured. But it was too close. I want you to find out everything you can about this unit. It will be my pleasure, sir. You will speak of this to no one else and report directly to me. Herr Hitler. Hauptsturmführer Richter and... Piss off, Kraut. Unless you got room service for us. And I have questions for you. How are we gonna eat bloody questions? I'm the commanding officer. Well, speak with me. Even then, Richter was easy to read. Uniforms at high rank, no combat medals, office rat. The perfect mark. Surrounded by three guards, all armed, and all wankers. In all my years studying the Allies, I have never come across such an unusual unit. Kingsley, Arthur, Lieutenant, service number 2523. Two six four two. Tell you a story. I have spoken with the Fuhrer on exactly one occasion. He recommended a book to me, The Passing of the Great Race, by an American, a man named Madison Grant. The Fuhrer had nothing but praise for him. Fuck Madison Grant. And everyone like him. The book reveals that under extreme duress or unfavorable conditions, your people do not deteriorate so easily. In that moment, I knew what I had to do. Right to the suprasternal notch, below the clavicle. Once we had what we needed from this racist bastard, that's where I would put my knife. My plan began to take shape. We were being held in the basement of Gestapo headquarters. Around and above us was a treasure trove of classified Nazi intelligence. Project Phoenix had to be there somewhere, and Richter was our ticket. He thought he was the interrogator. If he was to be of any use to us, He'd have to keep thinking that. That arrogant Nazi in his clean-pressed uniform loved the sound of his own voice. The hard part wouldn't be fooling Richter into spilling what he knew of Project Phoenix. The hard part would be convincing the others not to kill him first. The Allies somehow knew about Project Phoenix. You must have a traitor. Amongst the officers. No. I pulled their fires. Take care of them. 
with the other non-essentials. Lieutenant Kingsley mentioned a Project Phoenix. Likely allied propaganda. The Negro thought he was protecting his team. No doubt to prove himself. To make him their leader. The Allies must have been desperate. <laughs> he said it was their first mission. That his sixth man is dead. He's probably lying. I will uncover the truth. Are there other teams like this one? How did they learn of Hamburg? Is Tempelhof at risk of being compromised? These are the things I need to know. There's more at stake here than I'm at liberty to discuss. Just know that I'm counting on you. Herikta. I understand. Thank you. So. Fingers. That's a good sign, at least. Now make a fuss. I'm fine. Listen. They know about Wade. But they haven't caught him yet. You told him he was killed, didn't you? On the train to Hamburg. I don't think they'll fall for it. But the hope is it'll buy him some time to get us out. He isn't coming back for us. That's right, Kingsley. We can't count on that fucking drone guy. Bring out the girl. She ain't going nowhere, mate. I'll just get out of my way. Boss. Alina, the Christ name. Whose name is Yostomoshish? What you got there? Empty bottles? I'm training fresh partisans. Our comrades already know how to drink. These will be Molotovs. Is it wise to give explosives to civilians? Pasha, you worry too much. Not the piel it's on yet. Oh, she's true. That hurts. Eh, you did that well enough yourself. The plechka. Durin. Vigushka. Kazyol. Shaba. I'm going to be late. Sit! Well, there. Isn't that nice? A real family breakfast. Bombs and bullets. Best way to start the day. You know, you're gonna get yourself killed having that old rifle in the house, Papa. Now who is worried too much? So, the Germans are approaching the front line. Is that where you're off to? No, they told me that's not where I'd be the most useful. So, I'm training recruits at the old post. Must be nice. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a choice in there. At least you get to fight. Oh, don't tell me at least, you? Fight it! You're both doing your part, which reminds me. If any of those Ubludki get past you, you know where to send them. <laughs> of course, Papa. They will never get through. Never. <coughs> Leave. I need to run. They're waiting Wait, for me. Miss, you're... Fox. I swear, you 
Don't forget to keep his own head screwed on without us. We really are saints. Honestly. I'll make sure he gets this on the way to the med tents. You help your country much more than you know. And you make your old man proud. Spasiba, Papa. Be safe out there. and training will crush them before they get close. I believe it. Good luck out there. All in. All in. Here to keep your brother out of trouble? Impossible. Something smells good over here. Oh, Paulina, I saved a loaf for your family. Spasiba. <laughs> You're welcome. Your father has been bothering me for some Borodinsky. <laughs> of course he has. I'll come by and grab it later. Be safe at work, Paulina. Buy this suitcase. Forget something? Your own lives. I know. We just be good. I should be going with you. You probably should. I have more practice than any of these Red Army Tabaki. Keep your voice down. You, you don't want to make enemies here. Fine. Just don't do anything I wouldn't do. Couldn't even if I tried. My aim is shit compared to yours. <laughs> Uh, it's not too bad we can trade places. I would look great in that uniform. At least try to make it back from your bomb making. One piece, several pieces, it's fine. I'm pretty good at putting people back together. Yes, ma'am. You've made me late again. I'll have to take the rooftops. You're gonna get yourself killed climbing around out there. I promise you can say I told you so if it happens. Now go! Go, go on. Good morning. Morning, Paulina. How is your father's leg? Finally improving. Thanks. Don't worry. The Red Army will handle it. Well, be careful out there! Broke down. This way is blocked. Move along. The medical officer will assign you. She's down the other side of the truck. Mrs. Petrova, we'll need you down by the first stand. Plenty of men that are catching up today. Go ahead, join the others.
help your country more than you know. And you make your old man proud. Papa <laughs>
should have been here for Pasha. <coughs> Tell Mom I'm off to save Misha. As usual.
Lass Steiner so lange warten. Ach, hier sind nun Patrouille der Ebert. Alles gut.
I think they're dead! Can you cut us free now? It was incredible. We're going. Now. Gospodie, I, I was so scared that you and... Me? You're the one tied up? Take care of the others. Polio? Huh? Up, up. He's gone. Gone. Oh, no. Misha. No. Misha. No. We don't have time for this. We have to get your recruits out of here. If we stay here much longer, we're trapped. You're right. You're right. Okay, let's go. Misha, we need to get to the Volga. How do we get out of this building? Misha, focus. How can we escape to the river? for the sewers, oh, but the Germans are blocking the quarter. It'll be tough. Do you have any extra supplies? Weapons, anything I can use? I know there were soldiers defending on the roof. They had the radio. There might be supplies, too. All right. I'll lay down cover fire from there while you get our people to the sewers. If you're sure, sister, maybe you can reach the roof climbing up there. I should get you to the roof. I'll give you a boost. I'll find a good place to cover you. I know. You've always been a better shot than me. The Pasha is with me now. And I know he wouldn't want us to die in this post office to a bunch of Ubliotki. He would be proud of you. He would be proud of us. Get our people to the sewer. I'll lay them fire from the roof. Do meals, okay? I never do. Can you hear me? I'm on the radio. Bullet, I'm not receiving. Oh, Bosha, I hope you're listening to me for once. We are pinned down in the crater by the trolley. Polina, what's that signal? Partisans, move, now! Polina has got his attention.
Scanlan's behind us. Other side of the crater. Thank you. 